This is Tibby. Tibby drove a long way to come see us. Her mama says she can be a little naughty. So we're going to try giving her a haircut and see how it goes. All right, so this is Tibby's first ever haircut. And we are going to try to even her out. Give her a clean face and feet and get her done in one hour because that is how long her appointment is scheduled for. So first thing I'm going to do is put the harness on her. Good girl. Yeah. stays down off of her trachea. It doesn't upset her. I'm going to do the hardest part first, which is her face. I'm going to use my Artero Spectra Clipper on a number 10 setting. Good girl. Good puppy. It's very good, it's okay. A lot of times I like to get the worst part off first. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You're very pretty. Yes, you are. Very pretty poodle. You're going to look like a different dog. Mm -hmm. You're going to look like a different dog. So when I'm doing this, I'm stretching the skin back, which is showing the whites of her eyes, but the purpose of that is to keep the lips stretched. It's okay. So that they don't get nicked. I want to pull them nice and tight. Good girl. <clears throat> she does have a lot of heavy, hard yeast in her ears. Or it could be yeast. I'm not diagnosing it. Very rock hard. I am not going to clean that. Because if I do, she will start head shaking and possibly develop an ear infection. She's already got one started, so that would only intensify it and probably add bacteria to yeast. So that is a job for the veterinarian, not for me. Also, if I were to mess with that, she would start scratching heavily and it would appear a clipper burn as opposed to bad ears. So that's why I'm not going to aggravate that or mess with that at all. I'm not even gonna put ear wash in her ears as a result. Because when this comes out, it'll come out like a rock hard chunk. All right, that was very, very good. Look at you, you look so different already. The blade's still cool, so I'm going to go ahead and do under her tail. So as you can see, up under here, I'm not gonna go close because that will probably get irritated quite easily. I'm going to do the top of the tail with a 10. And I'll do underneath with a 5 her color. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> uh, her color tends to both clip or burn and get irritated and do the dropping her tail sitting thing. So I'm going to be extremely careful not to do anything to aggravate her. What do you got? You got hair in your mouth? Yeah. So we're just going to take extra precautions. Right, baby girl? Now I'm going to attempt to do her feet. She's never had her feet done before. This could be quite interesting. 
What is it? Yeah. What is it? Can you see? Good girl. Good girl. I am using a 40 blade on her feet. She does have nice black skin, so that should be safe. Good girl. What are you doing? What are you doing? You just don't understand this, do you? No. You just don't understand. It's a very pretty poodle. Mm -hmm. A very pretty poodle. So right now I'm just getting the bulk of the hair off the feet, letting her get a feeling for it. Her people found me on YouTube watching the video how to grow a wiggly puppy. What's the matter? He's alright. Okay. Yeah. What you doing? What you doing? Hmm? You okay? It's alright. There's a lot of stuff came out of your nose. I don't know if I like that. Yeah. What's all that about? Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Let's nice turn. So I'm not even going to trim under her tail or in between her back legs until she's washed. Good girl. A little trick you can do when shaving feet. Come here, honey. Let's try to do this up close. Is you can turn your blade backwards. So instead of going this way, you go this way and get right in around the toes. And it's okay. Good girl. Right. And that gets around the toes really nice and fun. What's the matter? Hmm? It's okay, honey. She doesn't have anything on her throat. This is way down. Her trachea is way up here. But she just came on a long trip, so she might have a bit of an upset stomach from that. Hopefully they didn't give her anything to relax her. Sometimes if you give a dog something on an empty stomach, it can make them have an upset stomach. Come 
That's a good girl. All right. So now I am going to try to balance out this haircut because she's missing hair in places. They've cut out some mats like up and through here. So we're going to see what we can do with this. Before the bath, I'm gonna go ahead and knock it all down. It's okay. See? It's not gonna hurt you. Good girl. Excuse you. I'm going to send some blow drying all this hair. We're not going to keep it. Because you're just being so good, you might not even need it. experience any dematting on her first or ever haircuts. Brushing out mats is cruel. And I don't want to be cruel. here doing it before the bath so I don't mess up the lines of the top knot. Fell off you. Yeah. It all just fell on the floor. 
happened? What happened to all that hair? Okay, we're gonna go give her a bath and we will be back in a minute. All right, Tibby has had her bath and now she is ready for a haircut. So I'm going to use my Zolita shears and a Chris Christensen wide tooth comb and some iGrow Magic Boost scissoring spray. That's a good girl. What is all that stuff? What is it? Huh? Okay. Come here. You stand. I lightly missed her with the scissoring spray. Good girl. Ah, 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 ah. Over here. Stand. Soften. Just try to even her up. She's between five and six months old, and this is her first ever haircut, so I'm not going to be too perfect, perfectionistic on her. Give her a nice trim to introduce her to the whole process. She's still trying to figure out why her hair is on the table and not on her. so confusing, isn't it? So confusing for the puppy. A lot of groomers would say, why don't you have her head strung up so she's not moving all around? But I don't feel the need to do that. She's inspecting things and smelling things and thinking about things. I can work around her wiggliness. Just let her take it all in. I'll ask more of her later. Good girl. When her head is in the right place, I'll praise her. That's very good. That's very good. Yes. Tell her that's what I want. Yes. Very good. That was very good. Okay, come here. Good girl. That was so nice. I like that a lot. Yeah. I know your ears are bothering you. She really needs medication for those ears. Hmm. <laughs> You're fine. Stay right here. It's good for them to learn where the edge of the table is too. hurt them a bit.
kisses from the babies. Yes, I did. I got kisses. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Your daddy's out there looking in the window. Maybe he is. I think that was your daddy. He's wondering what's going on with you, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. He's worried about you. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hello, baby. Hello. Okay, let's get back to work. <laughs> yes, we're going to be best friends for life, aren't we? Yes, we are. So as I go to tighten up this scissor work, I'll probably go ahead and put her on a harness at that time. We're an hour into the work and she's getting anxious. She's probably got to go potty. Is that what it is? Is that what you're trying to tell me? She just had an opportunity with a pee pad a minute ago while I went up front and helped a client. Her owners took that chunk of her ear out when they were cutting out mats. her ear, but her ear hair. She's going ahead. A little knot here so I'm going to use some 44 tooth thinning shears and get that out. Set. You have to inspect everything don't you? our top knot a little on the short side since they live so far away. It'll help to hold her over until the next time they come down this way. Alright. Get this hair off 
my table. So I can see what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna switch to my Utsumi finishing comb. Put a better finish on her. does have a gay tail, tail that curls tightly up over her back, so I'm going to scissor it shorter on this side. <laughs> She's like, leave my tail alone. Leave my tail alone, please. Your people are going to recognize you. You look like a different dog. You do. You look like a completely different dog. kisses. You do. You get funny kisses.
I'm just looking for any loose ends that don't belong there. tail's a little thin because she's a baby. She'll grow into that. for her little brain today. I think we're gonna call it a day. Let her parents know that she is about ready so that they can be heading back. Right, Tibby? All right, say goodbye. Say goodbye, Tibby. Goodbye, Tibby.